you. Walk us through how the president was notified about the North Korean incident and if that generated any kind of a separate meeting for him or was it part of the PDB? Um, something like this is certainly unusual. So if, if there's any detail you could give us about how that came about. That's, that, that's a very good question. I can tell you for sure that this, clearly the president has been briefed, obviously. Uh, this is a type of incident that he would be briefed on, as you all know. Uh, I don't have the specifics if it was part of his PDB or a separate uh, briefing, uh, but certainly this is something that the president is watching very closely and will be, uh, will be uh, kept updated. Should we anticipate a call to South Korea or other partners in the region as a result of this? So one thing I can say is that I don't have any calls uh, to read out uh, to anybody that the president's going to be calling uh, specifically in, uh, in, in, in uh, either North Korea or South Korea. I can say that as it relates to our partners, we have been engaging uh, with, uh, with certainly with Sweden and South Korea, but I don't have any calls to lay out uh, specifically for the president. Karine, thank you. Um, on the matter of the U.S. soldier, you said that the U.S. is working to resolve this matter. Can you just clarify what a resolution is? Well, I mean, re resolve this incident, resolve this matter to get to the bottom of exactly what happened. There is an investigation that's currently occurring. Uh, there has been outreach uh, from the Department of Defense, right, as I mentioned, to their counterparts uh, uh, over at the Korean People People's uh, Army. Uh, you have the State Department, you have the Department of Defense, you have the UN and the White House all working together uh, to resolve this. this re resolving this is basically getting to the bottom of exactly what happened, and that is important for us to know. Uh, I just don't have more to share. And once we do, we'll certainly share uh, oh, the information. Bringing him home because. Well, we have said, we have also said, look, he's an American citizen. That is important to note, right? As we know, as a soldier, uh, we have also said our primary concern at this time is ascertaining his well being and getting, uh, getting to the bottom of exactly what happened and what occurred. Um, I, I'm just going to say uh, what Secretary Austin said moments ago. He's absolutely concerned about the welfare of his troops, right? That is something that, as the Secretary of Defense, that he is concerned about. Uh, and this will will develop in the next several days and hours and certainly will keep you posted and that is coming directly from the Secretary of Defense. Are you working under the assumption that this soldier wants to come back to the U.S. or do you know that for certain? I'm not working under any hypotheticals or any assumptions. What we're doing is trying to, uh, there's going to be an investigation uh, into this incident. I certainly don't want to get into hypotheticals, uh, speculations of what occurred or or um, how, how we ended up here. We just want to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. And in 